Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back a update as it be hot. Uh, it don't happen again. Oh. Meanwhile, before I will take you to the news, uh, if this is your first time of joining us on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share. Uh, they say Buhari Dom scam Nigeria. Waga Buhari Dom scam Nigeria. <laughs> When I don't see, see everybody waiting for this country, now Yahoo, Yahoo, they, they do. Oga Buhari go carry Ethiopia line, Ethiopia airline. Carry Ethiopia airline, launch them. Say na Nigerian airline. Not knowing, say na scam. And scam Nigerian people. So the team be say, all the money we be say Oga Buhari borrow for this country, what they carry and do? And Naim say, Naim they fight corruption. The man where they fight corruption, not the most corrupt, corrupted man where they for this country. Make I carry you go for the food story, make you hear what in the saw. Nigerian federal lawmakers confirm Sahara Reporter's story, the clear launch of Nigerian air by Buhari government, a fraud. <laughs> Nigerian lawmakers in the House representative have confirmed Sarah Reporter's story that the former president, Muhammad Buhari, led government deceived Nigeria by unveiling a Boeing, Boeing 737-800 aircraft belonging to Ethiopia Airlines as Nigerian airplane. Hmm. The lawmakers, the lawmakers on Tuesday faulted the Buhari-led government over the purported launch of Nigerian air some days before the end of the administration, declaring it a fraud. Sir reporters in May reported that the plane unveiled by Buhari as Nigerian air a few days before he left office was over 10 years old and belonged to Ethiopian airline. Its registration number is ETAPL. Information obtained by Sahara reporters from Plain Spotters, a platform which takes an inventory of aircraft, review its mode is SQ4005C and its serial number is 40965-4075. It noted the first flight was an Ethiopian airline aircraft, then it became Malawi Airline on 16 February 2014. It was then acquired again by Ethiopia Airlines in 2015 and has been operating under Ethiopian Airlines since then. Then, on the 26th of May 2023, it has Nigeria Air Color without changing ownership. It was first spotted in South Africa before it flew to Nigeria today. On Tuesday, Nolin Naji the chairman of the House Committee on Aviation declared the launch of Nigeria Air a fraud after major stakeholders in the deal between Nigerian government and Ethiopian airlines denied knowledge of the launch, the Punch News reports. It was gathered that the Ministry of Aviation claimed that Nigerian Air was only unveiled and not launched, which the committee dismissed as an attempt to divert the lawmakers' attention. Members of the committee were shocked when NAMA disclosed that the aircraft bearing Nigerian colors was on a chartering flight to Nigeria, while other stakeholders who confirmed the disclosure noted that a chartered flight could be painted in any color and with any inscription. Also, according to Sarah Reporter's report, flight traders' popular flight tracking website, website said the aircraft operated between Tel Aviv and Mogada, Somalia, still on May 21, 2023. On the 20th of May, it operated both Mogadihu in Somalia and Beirut, while on the previous day, it also serviced Beirut, the capital of Lebanon. Ethiopian airline is a majority stakeholder in Nigeria Air Project, it has a 49% stake, a structure which made domestic airlines under the airline operation of Nigeria, AON, file a suit against the federal government. 
According to the ownership structure, two Nigerian companies hold a 46% stake while the remaining five stake is held by the federal government. Sahara reporters earlier reported that Nigerian airlines operators wrote to President Muhammadu Buhari to stop the aviation minister from going ahead with his plan to launch Nigerian Airway. The country's national career before May 29, 2023, when the president is scheduled to leave office. The airline operators of Nigeria, AON, had accused the aviation minister of planning to ensure the launch of the airline on May 27, 2023. A letter written through their lawyers and signed by Abu Bakr Nuru Ahmed Esquire of Nurini Jimo Chambers accused Sirika of attempting to disobey a court order. In the letter dated May 24, the AON urged the president to stop Sirika's plan to launch the project before the end of Buhari's administration on May 29. My people, when I don't see say, Oga Buhari don't sc administration don't scam Nigeria, hey, <laughs> hey, it don't happen again. The time where Buhari they enter office, the time where in the enter office, he tell us say um, say na him be the mo sent sent we never commit sin before. Say in hand they clean. Say sir, uh, he no get any property. Say na only cow in the rear. Onya na chiefi. <laughs> hey, nothing where man no go see for Nigeria. Oh, this one don't happen again. Oga don't scam people, scam Nigerians, scam everybody within people. He better, uh, the, now, a lawmaker said uh, they, they just confirmed uh, that uh, Nigerian air was not trade, that it was fraud. Then I'm asking, does it mean that all these lawmakers don't know what is happening in Nigeria? Uh, it means that uh, when other parastatals want to do something, they don't know about it. That's it to say you that the, the, the government that is being run in Nigeria is, is an individual government. How can a whole nation be doing something and the lawmakers claim that they don't even know about it? You know, you can imagine that. You can imagine the, the you know, these people are taking the citizens of Nigeria for a fool. No, to be honest, they are taking the citizens of this nation for a fool. Because coming out to tell us that for the whole time that uh, these people were planning to unveil this Ethiopian airline as Nigerian airline to deceive Nigerians, that Nigeria have a, an airline. You are telling us that all this why, that you don't even know anything about it, that it never occurred to you, that you are not part of the plan. I, I think that um, if, if arrest should be done, that all these lawmakers should also be arrested. But the question is, who is going to arrest who? When the corruption is starting from the head to the last person, the, 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 the Nigerian lawmakers, Nigerian uh, 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 politicians are taking Nigerian citizens for a fool. They believe that, uh, that Nigerian citizens are fools, that they cannot do anything. Whatever story you give them, they will believe it. And when you come out on the street to protest and say, um, what these people are doing is not good, we don't like it, that's the another problem. They will come after you with the barrel of gun. They will send police, send army. Then I'm asking these police people that they are sending, you, policemen, they send you to go and fight innocent citizens uh, that have been, uh, that are just protesting for their right. The, the, IG, the IG will be in his office. He has a personal car. He has his children abroad. Then he will send you common corporal, send you all the people who oppose, say, go to the street, fight these people, make sure you kill everybody. Then you go there and you are doing it. Meanwhile, they have not even paid your salary. Your pension and gratuity self is not even assured. So that's where they go, go attack people, beat, beat people. Your salary has not been paid. Your pension is not assured. Go and check your colleagues that, that died in the service. Their children are there without any help. Their wife are, they are there without any help. No help is coming. After one have worked for Nigerian government for years, you don't even, or especially those in this police and army, you don't even have anything to boast about. You still come back empty to your family when you retire, and they will be calling you all soldier, all soldier, all soldier, all soldier. You go, they say all soldier, not they die, all soldier, not they die. 
Hey, these people have finished, finished this nation, finished Nigeria, finished the citizens, carried the money. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will be winding down the curtain here, and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.